On June 20, 1997, a Tsuji disaster relief team arrived in Azerbaijan to donate aid supplies to four refugee camps. The team of 20 volunteers had just two days to hand out 150,000 items of clothing, 1,500 tents and 100 wheelchairs. It was a distribution that marked an important milestone for Tsuji's international aid mission. Let's find out why. I hadn't been on the Tsuji media team for long. Out of the blue, the manager told me a team was going to Azerbaijan to distribute aid, and they needed a reporter, so he came to me. The brothers who went had the experience of distributing aid in China and all over the world. They were brought together for that project. The aid from Taiwan included 150,000 items of clothing, 100 wheelchairs and 1,500 tents. When Taiwan sent a container, it didn't go direct. It had to transfer through lots of ports before it got there. When the goods arrived, everything went to a military base, which was very safe and secure, so nothing went missing. When we went to collect it, going through all the red tape was very difficult. Then delivering 20 containers of clothing and 1,500 tents could have taken us over a month. So we went to the Ministry of Transportation, which had container trucks and lorries. The area we were helping was the poorest in Azerbaijan and the most remote. It took three to four hours to get there from Baku, so it was very difficult to get them to organize transportation. The roads to the disaster area were bad and we didn't know the way, so every step we had to beg for favors. The disaster relief team also took to a circuitous route to the United Kingdom, where they met up with other city volunteers before flying to Azerbaijan. But the problems didn't really start until it came to distributing aid in the four refugee camps. Although it was chaotic and we couldn't communicate at all, we used songs and courtesy and our professional-looking uniforms to give them the impression that we were a well-organized group. So although we were very nervous, we slowly got over that and smoothly carried out the distribution. We Tsuji people are practicing Buddhist groups, so this aid distribution is like a seven-day trial. We happily face up to all the challenges. Because our distribution was well organized, everyone had a handbook and tickets to collect aid, because it was blankets and clothes, so they gradually got used to it and helped us line up to collect their aid. The distributed clothes were all donated by Taiwanese people, some were new and some second-hand, but everything was carefully packed by Tsuji volunteers. I opened one up and took a look inside, and was amazed to see the clothes were washed very clean and folded very well. They were just like new. Apart from clothing, the Tsuji volunteers bought over 100 wheelchairs for people injured in the conflict. On the last day, the interpreter who came with us told us in the bus that we had shocked him. He never imagined an organization like that would come to help them, so organized, so polite and so kind. So he donated his day's wages to Tsuji. Our international disaster relief took a big step forward. There were lots of language barriers and partnerships with other foundations, schools and government organizations, where we have very limited experience. The cooperation with the Azerbaijani government, London University and the Leonard Cheshire Foundation brought aid to the war-torn Euro-Asian country. A province of the Persian Empire in 328 AD, Azerbaijan has a long history and sits on top of rich oil fields, which turned the capital of Baku into an international city. But with the breakup of the Soviet Union and the territorial dispute with its neighbor Armenia, the country went into decline. Although the Tsuji distribution was an one-off event, like the Azerbaijan people's desire for peace and prosperity, it will not be forgotten.